Squad, it is your favorite island esthetician Nikita, and I'm back with another video. So, Skin Squad, for this week, we're going to be talking about enlarged pores. A lot of us tend to have an issue with this, majority of the population tends to have issues with enlarged pores because it's stemming from the oil, the backup bacteria into the skin. But before I jump right into that, don't forget to like this video once you're through watching it. And of course, subscribe, share the video because sharing is caring and leave a comment if needed. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Now, let's take a look at what exactly is enlarged pores. This is a depression in the skin, an indentation on the surface of the skin, your epidermis to be exact, right? That's the skin that's on the outside that we see daily when we're looking at another person. This contains one or more openings to the ducts carrying sweat and oil from your sebaceous glands. And skin squad, in case you're wondering what exactly is my sweat glands, we're talking about that gland that's attached to your hair follicle. This is what produces oil that is being secreted to the surface of the skin that keeps the skin moisturized and saturated. Who gets enlarged pores? Every and anybody. So I hope you guys are not surprised. Once you have skin, you're liable to develop this condition. Now, when it comes on to enlarged pores, there's a certain ethnicity that tends to be affected by this more tremendously than others. And yes, if you're thinking what I am thinking, Skin Squad, <laughs> you're absolutely right. The African and Indian ancestry, specifically, tends to become more affected by this. Hold up, Skin Squad. Before we go any further, here is a quick fun fact. Your pores appear larger with age. I'd love for you guys to drop in the comment section, why do you think our pores appear larger with age. What are your opinion on this? I'd love to know. Let's chat. Now back to the video. Here are some causes that might cause your enlarged pores. Cause number one, increased sebum production. And as I was talking earlier guys, I'm talking about your skin's natural moisturizing factor. Our skin produces its own oil to keep it saturated. But if you have an oily skin like me, we know it can get out of control. Yes? So, you want to be able or make sure that you're able to balance the oil into the skin. Cause number two, your hair follicle size. We're talking about the, the skin around your pores. The size of that will determine whether you're large, your, your, your pores becoming large, rather. Cause number three, use of comedogenic products what do i mean by comedogenic products i'm talking about products that are really heavy in texture you know those heavy lotions those heavy creams in the skincare world we refer to that as emollients if you're on the oily clog side then you have a high chance of developing enlarged pores cause number four loss of elasticity in the skin we're talking about the springiness the bounciness in the skin because as you get older your skin loses collagen it loses those muscles and tissues that normally keeps it firm and cause number five last but not least sun damage i love to elaborate on this one because people under it or underestimate rather how treacherous the sun can become the sun damages the skin and it causes enlarged pores and it leaches the collagen from the skin as well so guys wear your sunscreen i'm imploring i'm begging you earnestly to start applying sunscreen if you haven't already skin squad you know i deserve a real beating how could i forget this one of the number one ways that causes enlarged pores is your acne your zits, your pimples, your bumps, your comedone, your blackheads, your whiteheads. If they are left neglected, they can cause enlarged pores, aka collapsed pores, aka holes in the face. So that's some serious facts right there. <laughs> but let me not waste no more time. Let's get into the meat of the matter. This is a part everybody have been waiting on. Treatments and tips product recommendations how you can go about tackling this issue if you have it or if you fear 
to potentially develop this, how can you prevent it? Let's dive right into it. Laser treatment. Now, this is a very popular and prominent type of treatment that is known to help individuals that have enlarged pores. Very effective at that too. Number two, radio frequency. I personally love RF treatment because it helps to tighten and tone the area, closing up those enlarged pores, causing the skin to emulsify beautifully. Chemical peels. Chemical peels are very popular again. You know, a lot of persons do these type of treatments, but I must tell you guys to be careful when it comes on to purchasing those chemical assays. As a matter of fact, don't even think about doing this at home. Seek professional help. Go see your esthetician, go see your dermatologist, go see your physician, but do not think about doing this on your own. However, if you're curious about finding a safe alternative at home to use, I would definitely recommend you trying or creating an egg white mask using raw egg or if you can get access to the egg white powder, that can work. You can do this at least three to four times a week, zero downtime. It's not harsh or abrasive on the skin and by perpetually doing this you should see some slight improvement not much but you will see a difference so skin squad we're almost at the end of our video and i intentionally i purposefully left the best for last products that you can use implement into your skincare routine to help with your enlarged pores number one your polish choice two percent beta hydroxy acid aka salicylic acid this is really important especially for an individual that has oily skin like myself because your skin is perpetually producing more oil than usual you need something to balance the oil which will usually lead to the build of a bacteria so this dissolve the bacteria that causes breakout that usually leads to the enlarged pores so if you're like me oily combo skin this is a must have in your skincare routine product number two the Dr. Dennis Gross peeling pads. Now the main ingredient in this is your glycolic acid. With glycolic acid, this is really good for the surface of the skin, resurfacing, resurfacing your skin's texture, leaving your skin feeling smooth, looking smooth, and of course, tackling those enlarged pores. However, there's always a pros and a cons to everything. Product number three, the Glow Recipe Skin Tightening Pore Tightening Toner absolutely love this one it has a mass mixture of the AHAs and the polyhydroxy acid which are your PHAs which are known to target the surface of the skin which is where we're having the issue with the enlarged pores and last but not least one of my absolute favorites niacinamide 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 it's close to my heart this is one of those holy grails that you must have. It hydrates, it pulls moisture to the skin, it decongestes your pores, it helps with redness, and it helps with enlarged pores, guys. This would be the kid that is friendly that everybody gets along with in the park or at school. You want to have this in your routine. It doesn't matter your skin type or your skin condition. This is pretty much one of those ingredients or one of those products that plays well with other products as well so there you have it my beautiful skin squad you just got full access to enlarged pores 411 the ins and the out when it comes down to enlarged pores so if you're suffering from this if you know anybody that might be suffering from this have them connect with us on our social media platform which is going to be in the link below we're going to have some links below and you will get access to all of the platform from the instagram to the tiktok and of course to our personal whatsapp or skin squad community guys feel free to connect with us we're here to serve you and last but not least skin squad do not forget to subscribe to the channel turn on that post notification button so you are alerted whenever we drop a new video because guess what? The pot art. We have a lot in store for you guys. A lot of niceness. And now the pot are season up. You know we're going to be having a lot of product reviews as well. Making it easier for you guys to purchase your products. You don't have to feel so overwhelmed. Not having the knowledge to safely and confidently 
purchase your products we're going to be doing reviews helping you to select your products whenever you go out to buy your products and of course if you need further help with that connect with us on our social media platform on our instagram at skin obsession underscore by underscore nikita so we can walk it through our skincare coaching program where we teach persons how to develop their own skincare routine and of course how to apply the products safely so until next time my skin squad do not forget to stay bold and beautiful and i'm sending you a lot of peace and blessings in abundance. Take care, guys.